Good morning. Welcome to Tin Barn Farm. Today, well, we'll be working with some horses, but also on this garage door. We have a very unique situation here with this garage door. We don't have enough headroom clearance for our garage. And so you need a foot over the top of the door for everything to work normally. Well, we don't have that. <clears throat> and if I were to drop this door a foot, our vehicles wouldn't fit in. So we had to get creative and figure out a way. And so you can see a double rail system here and we'll show you how that works. But during the process of trying to figure this out, uh, we had cut the radiuses out of these and it's a little too much too abrupt. So we're gonna have to put those radiuses back in, but it'll work because this wheel here is low enough so the radius can start right here and come up into there. And so we just we thought that we could save some room by cutting those out, but um, when it all worked out, instead of putting the short piece, you can see the short piece down here on the bottom. This piece here is shorter than these. And we were going to put that on top and then it wouldn't work because then there'd be a wheel right here so but now that we put the big piece back on top the wheels down here so the radius can start anyways we'll show you how it is so we're just trying to make do garage doors you are really hard to come by and to try to fit one in here is doesn't happen so the boys and i have been working on this and so We'll uh, show you kind of what's going on. So this is the, the radius we're going to put back in. Hold it up there, Z, and kind of show them where it's going to be. So it'll it'll be welded back in right there. You can see that where the wheel is. Move your hand there, son. See how it'll, it'll help, and then it'll slide around a little better. Right now, it's a little too abrupt, and we'll demonstrate that real quick for you as uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we're talking about. All right, so we'll push the button. <clears throat> Z, Curtis, push the button there. The one on this side. So it'll, it'll come up. Comes up pretty good, but going down, see, so you can see, so going down, go ahead and go down with it. See it kind of pushes right there, a little pause, another little pause there. You see how it's getting kind of bound up each time it goes around that. See it bound up that time to where it stop it. Push the button again. Push it again. Help them push it down when it get ready, push it down. So they have to kind of help it around that corner. It's it's a lot of pressure and it has to do with that curve right there so we're going to fix that but anyways it does actually work the way we have it but we want it to work better so that's what we're going to do Taking the hinges off there, took the hinge off there, and we cut we cut this piece out. Okay, go ahead, pull that down. Cut that piece out so it'll fit. Grab the new one, and the new one will be able to fit in there like that and weld it in place. So this side over here hasn't been cut yet. So we marked it right here and up there. We'll use the Sawzall and cut those and you'll see how that goes.
these other pieces back in there and it should create that uh, a better bend so it won't bind up. So how we do it? Well, we finished up I think the the fixes on this garage door. So it comes up. We had to finish up these these angles here. The boys and I did that. We welded them up here. So this angle, this angle piece here, up and around, we re-welded it. We cut them out and re-welded it. And you can see this top bar in there. That's for the top, but we don't have much clearance here. But uh, it seems to be working. I'll show you that it works. Go ahead, Andy. It's the button. Closes up here on top. You can see that uh, the top wheel has to go in that top rail and not in the one down here because I don't have enough room. So clutch it back up, Andy, and you can see what we're talking about. So that's one way to get a garage door when you don't have the head clearance in that'll work. So it wasn't easy, but it worked. Now Andy's going to demonstrate the safety of this because we took the sensors out because they weren't lining up and I need this, need this ladder here. So I wired the sensors up together on a piece of thing and just set them on top here. Those are the garage sensors um, sitting there. That way they don't mess around. And But the garage doors have multiple safety mechanisms in it. So as you can see, Andy's standing over there. If someone was to stand there, this is what would happen. So it actually doesn't, you can tell it doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, Andy, turn sideways. Let's see it. Okay, uh, I'm just going to video from here. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh. So. Yeah. Pushing on my head. Yeah, it's this. The way you set these up, there's some adjustments on. Excuse me, son. There's some adjustments on the, on the, uh, these blue right here tell you the pounds that it'll pick up and push down. So if it ever on a bind or anything, it stops. And then on this side, it tells you how far to go up and down those adjusting. So anyways, this is the first garage door I've ever installed and me and the boys and it was kind of a tricky one, but it worked. Good job guys. All right, guys, we're done with the garage door. What do you guys think? Good. Glad it's over with. Move on to the next project. It's cold working in here. Yeah. Well, this will keep it warmer, huh? Good evening. Welcome to my farm. We got a scotch here. Um, a friend named Jim uh, hired me to put uh, rides on her and get her calmed down. Come along with her and see how her journey at the farm goes. So we've had her for a couple days now and um, when we first got her she was a little bit snorty and um, a little skittish of some things. She still is a little skittish. Um, I think she was in heat. I think she was in heat when we first got her. Her studs were paying attention to her but um, she needs a little work with her feet. So what have you done with her so far in the last two days? Um, I've saddled her once, and she took that pretty good. She has a few bucks in her and stuff, but she did pretty good with that. And then um, I've worked with her feet, picking up her front feet. Could you pick up her feet when you first got her here? No, she would. She would just 
I had a rope around her, whatever, around her feet, trying to pick her up, and she'd just kick out really hard and stuff. She wouldn't let you really touch them or anything. Okay. And You've been working with a, a sack, a flag tech sack on the end of a stick, too. How's she taking that? She's taking it pretty good. She's She likes to kick at it a little bit in the back end, but she's doing better at it. She's getting better and better, so... Okay. What's the next thing? What what so what are the things you need to work on her? What are you gonna need what are you gonna need to do to get her to where you can start getting on her? Um, I gotta get her where she'll take that sack good. She won't get scared of it. Um she needs her feet trimmed pretty bad. Yeah, her feet are pretty long. So that's that's probably one of the first goals is to get to where we can trim her feet. Mm -hmm. Right? where she saddles good and is comfortable with us I guess okay so uh, I'd like to see how she does on a lunge rope what do you think yeah lunge rope and uh, using the sack yeah so okay. so come along with us and watch us how we deal with her and see how she does Not pay attention to you. Make her pay attention to you. Better. She did what she wanted to do. You got to pet her there. You can't forget that, okay? Give her a little bit of reward. The horse is doing pretty good. So what do you think of uh, what's what's her name again? Scotch. Scotch. What do you think of Scotch? Uh, I like her. She's a pretty good horse. I see a difference in her right here. Just working there, so there's a different respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think she's pretty smart. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, leave us a comment, and we'll see you later. Tim Mark Farms over now.